sponsored by State Farm. All right, so thousands of residents in and around Atlanta cleaning up after massive flooding recently and the damage it's in the millions. Many homeowners are paying out of their own pockets because they didn't have flood insurance and many people didn't think they actually needed it. So housing specialist Clyde Anderson is here to tell us about the pros and the cons of flood insurance. You know, and a lot of people and I was out there during right. the floods talking with uh, people that lost so much and many of them said, you know, we're not in a floodplain. Right. Why would I have flood insurance? Right. Why should people get flood insurance? What does it cover? Well, you know, what's interesting on FEMA's website. They have something that says who needs flood insurance? Say every one needs flood really? insurance. Flood insurance can cover the actual structure of the property. Also covers the content in the property. So it's important, especially in cases like this that you've seen in Atlanta recently with all the flooding. Well, the thing about it, though, it's it's not a standard on your policy. That's something right. separate that you have to pay for. Correct? Exactly, exactly. And people should not confuse it with homeowners insurance. Okay. Homeowners insurance is totally separate. So you get homeowners insurance when you purchase the house, but you're going to need flood insurance if you're in a floodplain. And nowadays, even if you're not in a floodplain, it could come in handy. How much extra is it? And and, and is, is it something that's going to be costly? And just one of those things. Well, I may need it one day. So. You know, right. let's just be safe. I think it's not as much as most people think. Okay. Um, I've seen some policies as low as $119 a year. Uh, some people pay $400 a year. So it's really going to depend on the size of the property and if you're located in a floodplain and how much of a floodplain you're located. Well, in. if you're going to do this for floods, what about um, other natural disasters? You know, hurricanes and whatnot. That's all separate too, right? right, right. Tornadoes exactly, and, and all of that. Exactly. And so what you're going to want to do is talk with your insurance agent to find out exactly based on where you live, um, what the conditions are and find out exactly what you're eligible for and what you can receive. All right, so you're saying the best bet is even if you don't live in a flood zone, if it's worth your while economically, go ahead and get it. I would say definitely take a look at it. Don't rule it out automatically. Just because you think, hey, I'm not near a lake or anything like that, don't rule it out. Definitely take a look at because it. Because if you don't have it and a flood occurs, like what we saw here in Atlanta, people right. that don't even live in a 100-year flood zone, right. You're not covered for no. this. Your homeowners is not going to pay for all that. That's coming out of your pocket. It is, and floods can be one of the most expensive things to, to repair from. Um, two inches of water or two feet of water could be about $7,500 worth of damage. So you really got to look at it. It could be really costly. All right, so let's look at the situation that a lot of people are facing right now. Many of them do not have it, did not mm -hmm. have it. The flood came. It ruined so much. What do you do now? What's your advice for them? What my advice for them now is really you're going to have to reassess everything. Take a look and see what FEMA is going to offer. I mean, it was a natural di disaster area, mm -hmm. so you're definitely going to want to see what the government's going to provide for you. Mm -hmm. But going forward, you're going to want to look at it. Just because you had a flood before doesn't mean that you can't get flood insurance now. So you want to look at it. And also, flood insurance, they won't let you get it. There's a 30-day waiting period. So if you see a storm coming, you can't call up and say, hey, oh. I need flood insurance tomorrow. So you got to be proactive. you got to prepare for it in advance. Now, do you have to, since it's a separate policy, does flood insurance have to come with your same insurance company or can you get it can you shop around and get it separate you can shop around and get it separate it doesn't have to be with that policy the government provides the flood insurance but the private insurance companies are going to want be the ones that give the insurance to you or provide the coverage gotcha very good information thank you so much Clyde as oh, always we appreciate my it my pleasure TJ all right we're going to be talking about here guys now the uh, the best